on stage with us now are Heri and Ade from uh, Ruma Budaya Sigukiluang, uh, together with Fabian Brambach, you will be in conversation. And also uh, Andan from Ruang Rupa, yeah. who will help uh, translating the parts uh, from Bahasa into English. And um, as you can see, uh, you will not only speak about the planned festivals together with um, the University of Göttingen and Jambi, but uh, there's also a performative part involved. And uh, this looks very good yeah. and <laughs> inspiring. <laughs> but Andrea, but Andrea, also uh, there, are, there, there are some of us from Rupa, who is Reza Vicina, uh, and also Indra Aming, and also Iswanto is Ron Bating. This one too is in Zoom. Uh, yeah, he, he's in the jungle of Zoom. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Like we have been during the last one and a half years, yeah. no? So good to be uh, actually here in person as well. So thanks for being here. Um, uh, like one more word uh, as introduction. Um, both of you are uh, also kind of founders of Siko Keluang, am I right? And uh, you are active in Riau, in Sumatra, mainly. But um, like uh, you are very, you are very much working together with the local community. You are very, like in the spirit that also brings that Wangrupa has brought to Documenta 15. Uh, you kind of share this a lot. And um, uh, but I would like to pass the mic to you to explain this a bit better and to just simply yeah. uh, participate there. Okay, thanks, okay. and the stage is yeah. yours. Thank you, Andrea, and uh, I, I'm Ade, and in here is, uh, there is Harry here, and then Andan, and then Fabian. Uh, we will talk about uh, how we will uh, make uh, the festival next uh, 2022, maybe uh, Arts and Festival uh, on the late or the beginning of March. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, before that, we would like to uh, uh, say that we are Rumah Budaya Sukukluang uh, here, uh, and then uh, we started the project's uh, community in Rio province, it's next to Jambi province that uh, uh, Gottingen University have uh, research also over there and then we're working with the local people of course and then we have the uh, uh, festival also every year uh, and then maybe we can uh, know uh, how we become uh, like collective, Sikukulam collective. Uh, it started in 2010 but uh, we briefly like active in 2018 to make a project in Rimbang Baling area. So maybe uh, we can see the videos uh, now. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Satgas Kebakaran Hutan dan Lahan Riau berupaya untuk memadamkan kebakaran lahan di Desa Sepahat, Kabupaten Bengkalis dengan mengerahkan dua unit helikopter. After Singapore called for an emergency meeting with Indonesia to discuss a haze of thick smoke drifting across the city state. Upaya pemadaman dilakukan masyarakat dengan peralatan seadanya untuk memadamkan api yang membakar hutan seluas lebih dari 60 hektar ini. This is horrifying. Look at this. They just cut them at the base, dropped the trees, it's burned the everything. Right. Wow. There is still smoldering. The yeah. fire, the smoke right. is still coming up over there. The guys are already setting the seed mix into the, into the fresh place. This, this, this is a fun book. Rumah Budaya Sikakaluang was established in 2010. It initiated the birth of a 17-year-long resistance movement against the haze caused by forest fires started by corporations and the community for plantation land clearing in 2014. Resistance movements are being channeled through a cultural, 
an artistic approach known as Malawan Asaf, which was only implemented in Rio province before snowballing into a national and international campaign. by the Malawan Asaf campaign, Siko Keluang launched a new safety membaling effort in 2016 with the goal of preserving 142,000 hectares of Bukit Rimba Bukit Baling rainforest from the threat of opening oil palm plantations from downstream and coal mines from upstream. <music> This movement manifests itself in the form of the Rimbang Bali Music Festival, the Yard Residency, the People's Tree Bank, Ecotourism, the establishment of a coffee plantation pilot project, and the establishment of a cultural laboratory. All of these activities contribute to the preservation of the Bukit Rimbang Bukit Bali rainforest, the strengthening of indigenous people's cultural, social, and economic well-being, and the economic development of the community. So this is our festival. In uh, the name of the village is uh, Kotolamu in Ribang Baling area. Artinya Kotolamu. Nama tempat. Nama nama artinya. And we have also uh, artists on residence. There is uh, friends from Japan. Then there is from part of uh, Indonesia also that uh, stay there uh, at least two weeks until one month. And then they will be present the uh, artistic practice uh, within the uh, festival. There is also a, a short residency program, and they collaborate uh, with local people. We still have uh, indigenous people inside of the village. There is like uh, six tribes on it. Then we make our uh, own lab. Uh, we are not architecture, but we try to make our own lab. This is from uh, 2018. Suku yang ada di situ, Petopang, Melayu, Pilihan, apa? Pilihan, Pilihan. Oh, dari sini Pilihan. Oh, dari situ. Petopang, Melayu, Pilihan, Domo, Domo. But unfortunately, it's Melayu Mudi, Mudi. Bukan ah Melayu Mudi sama Melayu. It's born by stranger, and then now we make. Uh, our own again. Then we also use uh, this term of eco tourism. Uh, from the city 
and then to go to Rimbang Baling area it took like uh, three and a half hour, two hours by uh, car and then one and a half hour by uh, Kano. We make our own plantation also, coffee plantation, beside of the still the uh, uh, big trees. So it's almost the same with uh, what uh, Gottingen do also in the uh, Jambi. And we try to make a tree bank. So you guys can uh, adopt the tree or you can also uh, uh, bring the tree. I mean, uh, we choose the uh, tree that almost extinct in the Ribang Baling area. And then every like three months we can report uh, like the trees, like how, how big or how uh, uh, healthy is the tree. So that's uh, the video how uh, Siku Kluang uh, have the project in Ribang Baling area because of this uh, fire forest before and then we try to searching that uh, is it there is a forest in Rio province left mm. and then we found that uh, there is uh, this Kotalamo site, Rimbang Baling area, that the tree like still still uh, massive, uh, still good, and then there is a local people, indigenous people who live inside the the forest, even it's like far away from the uh, uh, the city. Then uh, we we are try to uh, make good collaboration with the local people and then artists and then whoever want to. Uh, uh, engage with this uh, our projects together, and then now uh, and, uh, Ade, uh, maybe you can also explain what what Siku Kluang means. Yeah. Ah, yeah. Siku Kluang, um, it's come from the um, the Malay language. Uh, it's uh, the name of one of uh, move, movement of the uh, dance. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So the this Malay dance, and mm. it can be also one of the uh, what do you call? If it's a house, so because our house is like this long house, the mm. uh, the, the stage house, yeah, yeah, stage, stage wooden house. house, yeah. And then in before the 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 what do you call? The floor. Yeah, the floor. There is this. Uh, There's a gap. Yeah. Uh, uh, the pillars. The pillars, yeah. like the pillars. Uh, pillars. So this is. It's called also Siku mm. that have a kind of like a curving. Yeah. And people also hang out in this space uh, below the floor uh, in the stage house. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Can be also. And mm. to uh, uh, what is called Kano, mm. and to to uh, you know the Kano will be over there also. Mm. Of course, it's because of the the uh, wild wild animal. Also, mm. that's why our house is just like uh, mm. yeah. high. And then it still easily can be found houses like this in in the area where you organize the. Uh, in our area, it's uh, it's different kind of house mm. that they uh, uh, build because this uh, this area is still. I mean, in Rimbang Baling area, yeah, uh, it's uh, already. I mean, it's wooden uh, uh, wood from the wood. Uh, the house is called. Uh, but in different place of Rio province, yeah, of course. There's still Maybe Rimbang Baling itu juga disebut uh, rumah harimau Sumatera. Oh, Rimbang Baling also means that it's many people know it is uh, the, the the home for a uh, Sumatran tiger, which is also exti uh, masih tinggal sekitar yeah, yeah. 60 an There are there, there are still around 60 populations of the Sumatran tiger, which are endangered. Yeah. 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 In Rimbang Baling area, yeah. yeah. This uh, around Rimbang Baling area. Uh, so the name, uh, as Hari just told me, that the name of the the area, the name of the village where they organize this music festival and also these uh, uh, cultural programs, called Kota Lama. Uh, the name of the village. Maybe it's the only village in the world means Kota Lama. Kota Lama means a new city. So it's a city in the village because it's a city, but the name is a city, a new city. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so now uh, Harry make a coffee from our coffee plantation that uh, plants uh, on our 
experimenting area mm. that still uh, uh, coffee and then big tree inside me and then this coffee is uh, uh, it's not arabica it's a uh, robust oh, robust coffee mm. because it's lower than 800 meters uh, mdpl yeah. Yeah. Uh, next slide Oh, this is uh, uh, this is the explanation of the history uh, and the track how coffee was brought to Indonesia, brought by the Dutch in 1696. In in 1706, uh, there was the first coffee plant in Java Island, brought to the Kebun Raya Amsterdam, uh, like a uh, uh, Amsterdam. Uh, how to say uh, the huge garden yeah, right. for uh, for the as a as a sample to, to be researched, and then it has a potentiality to be traded all around the world. And in 1980, 70 to 1980, uh, there was a disease, and then uh, there was a corrosive in the leaf of this Emilia fartarix. 1907, Arabica was changed uh, by Robusta. In 1915. Kotolamo, the name of the village where they organized the festival, Sirimbang Baling was established. Uh, yeah. In 1915, they realized that up until 2018, they realized that there is no economic potentialities of this coffee because the coffee was sold very cheap and the long process uh, to to make it as a green beans and there's no uh, how to say uh, proper information or education among people in there how to okay. treat okay. copy uh, based on the problem. needs of the market uh, so in 2018 they started to replanted again uh, the coffee yeah 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 and 2018 kita menanam kopi hmm. itu untuk uh, tujuannya uh, agar apa ya ya memberi uh, contoh buat masyarakat hmm. bahwa kopi itu punya potensi gitu yeah. so they started to plant coffee again uh, as part of dissemination of information to people around there that planting coffee and then a leaf from coffee is a is a is a is a is an opportunity that we can take, and then also to educate among them, and also based on the information they got from the internet, and also yeah, because it's very easy to get information on the internet. Uh, the price of a coffee in the market, both in a local, national, or international market. So that's how they tell the people about it. So it's also good because uh, planting coffee and then trading coffee is uh, an option uh, apart from uh, cutting the trees or, or illegal logging, and also become a become a, become an option become an option not to work in a palm oil plantation. Uh, so it's also an option that planting coffee is much much better than planting palm oil. So it's also part of fundraising for them to sustain. Uh, ini saya buat kopi dengan metode V60. Yeah, so he's making coffee with the V60, V60 uh, style. Uh, kenapa metode ini dia bisa uh, menimbulkan rasa yang sempurna atau bisa di, dibuat rasa menurut uh, yeah. kita, membuat yeah. so, rasa aslinya. Gitu. Yeah. So why 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 they uh, why why they have been taking this? V60 style because uh, they can uh, make their own uh, taste they want. So for them it's a magnifito <laughs> taste. <laughs> Kita menggunakan air uh, 90 derajat. Mm. Kemudian rasio yeah, yeah. air dengan kopi itu 118. Yeah. Jadi yang mempengaruhi rasa kopi ini banyak. Pertama itu ada uh, panasnya air, kemudian perbandingan air dengan kopi, mm -hmm. terus uh, 
grindernya, mm. halus kasarnya grinder, mm. itu uh, berpengaruh ke right. rasa kopi. So what can cause the taste of the coffee is based on the numbers of uh, heat, uh, the warm water in, in there. And also the ra ratio of the coffee and water. Apalagi tadi kan? Terakhir. Uh, panas air. And also the <coughs> the heat of the water. Uh, kopi yang saya bawa ini kopi yang dari masyarakat karena kebun kopi kami belum panen. Yeah. Jadi kopi itu baru bisa panen sekitar tiga tahun setengah. Yeah. So, yang kita bawa yeah. ini uh, punya masyarakat yeah. yang dulu mereka tidak peduli dengan Dari kopi. Mm -hmm. So the, the coffee they bring here, uh, they're making as a V60 is uh, uh, as part as a result of the harvesting of the people in Rimbang Baling uh, because the The coffee they planted is not uh, is not uh, cannot be harvested yet because it takes around three years and a half to be harvested. So can we drink it after this? Yeah. Uh, Kemudian yeah, yeah after this uh, some of you guys can drink. Kopi yang kita ego. tanam itu yang pertama itu uh, banyak bibit kopi hmm. di hutan terus kita cabut hmm. dan kita tanam di kebun kita. Di hutan hutan liar di yeah. hutan Limbang Baling itu. Oh. So in Limbang Baling there are forest around and then that's how they got the seed of this coffee which they took it from the from the forest. Are they told me before before we started that the the reason why those coffee are in a wild forest was brought by the Dutch and then yeah they grow themselves after uh, they were behind. Kopi yang kita ambil yang asli yang dibawa dari zaman Belanda itu buahnya uh, green bean-nya lebih kecil. Hmm. Kemudian ada kopi yang kita bandingkan dengan bibit baru, hmm. dia lebih besar. Oke. Okay. The seed that uh, yang ini udah 100 tahun tadi kan? Iya. Yeah. Yeah. So the seed uh, it, it it it's probably has a 100 years uh, old uh, brought by the Dutch and the seed is smaller hmm. than the one they planted. So yeah. The the one they planted uh, the seed are bigger than the one they brought by the Dutch. Why? Kenapa kira-kira? Kan? Uh -huh. Kenapa kira-kira? Uh, jenis uh, mungkin sekarang ditemukan, diteliti biar dia lebih produktif, oh, maka okay. lebih besar, yeah. kan tentu lebih uh, kilonya lebih, yeah. ini tentu lebih mahal atau yeah. lebih banyak. Yeah, the reason why it's bigger than uh, the other one because there are, there are some experimentation to make it bigger uh, the seed. Udah, ini udah jadi kalau yang mau coba ya, anybody please. want to taste the coffee from Rimbang Baling Robusta. brought by Siku Keluang ya yeah. <laughs> please, yeah, please. Yeah. there is still one two three four five six left <laughs> you want to try please Anybody yeah. want to try, please? Yeah. <laughs> no, everybody But 10 euros. No, no, no kidding. <laughs> Andrea, do you want some? Oh, you're fine. <laughs> Teresa, have some. <laughs> yeah. Asih. Kembali lagi. Satu lagi. Nah, lagi? No. They have some more glasses. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Once again. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Siku Kluang. Thank you, uh, Kang Heri and Ade We for will your coffee. Explain. Yeah. No, I, we yes. did not finish yet. Not I finish just said yet. thank you for your coffee. So ah, yeah, of course. Me. <laughs> But egg euro. <laughs> so uh, after we know that uh, we we have this like coffee plantation beside uh, behind uh, like uh, big trees, and then why we uh, did uh, this thing is maybe almost the same way, uh, like the reason also why the Gottingen have the the like purpose of uh, scientific uh, research in Jambi area and it can be that we link uh, what we we are together next uh, Siku Kluang and then Gottingen uh, University uh, have uh, 
like a project in the next festival of art and science in uh, uh, Jambi. And then we will speak about it, uh, how, how it can be, it can be uh, maybe we bring the idea of uh, our project in Rimang Baling area to, uh, to the festival in the Jambi area where the Gottingen and then uh, the scientists have uh, research uh, on it with the uh, people uh, over there also. And we try to invite like uh, artists also to do the residency uh, minimum like one month so they can have a time to uh, doing a research also and then uh, with scientists also can be collaborate together and then make a artwork or make a project uh, on the specific side of uh, Jambi area then we will have the can be exhibition or can be a project or can be whatever we we still think about it and then we want to you guys also uh, uh, can be talk about it or can be like an input how the art science festival will be uh, run next in 2022 uh, maybe fabian can add more uh, how like uh, we w we will uh, make this festival? <laughs> yeah, so I, d I don't think I can say how we can we will yeah. run this festival. Okay, yet. that's why we uh, don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I think it's very nice that we can discuss about it, and we have been already discussing about it. And for us, it uh, was really exciting to see that uh, you have already done something very similar, right, in in Riman yeah. uh, area and. And also something that is that was very broad, that that uh, had a strong artistic um, component, but it also had a strong uh, influence on the on the village in terms of uh, the activities there, with the with the seedling bank, with the uh, tree planting, with ecotourism, so with all kinds of uh, diverse activities, um, and that is something that um, we are also looking for in this sustainable village uh, project that we are planning in cooperation with uh, Documenta. And our hope is that uh, this Art Science Festival, um, of course it will be a festival in itself, and maybe it's, it's also worth as a festival in itself without further reasoning, but it could also uh, maybe help kickstart the process of this sustainable village transformation, activate different uh, groups, different actors, bring them together, share ideas, and, and in that way, uh, yeah, hopefully create new ways to look at things um, and hopefully uh, yeah, lead to a more sustainable uh, land use. And for us as, as scientists, um, we are, I think, not very used often to uh, disseminate our results in, in very creative ways. We have very, very conformist ways of, of showing our results. I think this is changing. Um, little by little, but um, yeah, we did, we're definitely not very good at this, most of us. And so it's uh, it's great to have uh, this experience, uh, this opportunity to actually do it together and learn from each other. And uh, yeah, that's why we are very happy to do it with Siko Kaluang and with the resident artists uh, who will be invited. Right? Yeah. There is uh, five uh, art artists will be. Uh, we just like make not not really open call, but we we try to uh, reach them one by one, and then to spare like one month in the remote area, like in the forest, they like uh, they also thinking that could they survive <laughs> on this remote area of a uh, next festival in Jambi. So it will be diverse the activity of the artists. And then the background also diverse. They, there is a musician, there is a activism also, and there is a, a artist that working with technology, with the new media, and then theater. Uh, theater. Yeah. theater also. And then also can be the scientist itself that make uh, uh, the artwork also together, of course, with the artist. So in terms of uh, to make the artwork just by artist by artist, I mean just like a, like solo artists, we try to in, try to make them engage each other to make something together 
uh, even they are like scientists or artists or the people over there can have uh, in like collaboration together. Mm. Yeah, and, and we thought that it's also maybe a unique opportunity or, or a change from this um, uh, project in Rimbambaling because since um, our project has been active now for uh, nine years already in, in Jambi province and working together closely with a lot of uh, different communities and different villages, and we have of course collected uh, a lot of uh, data and material and and images and videos and sounds and and yeah so there's a lot of um, material already uh, to work with and um, we are very excited to see also what will happen to this uh, material what in in what this can be transformed in in this process mm. um, yeah, so we we see some uh, images of uh, some some pictures of the literally uh, um, millions of, of organisms that we uh, that mm. we looked at and that we counted and measured and and so on yeah. Uh, Ade, once you mentioned that the, in Rimbambaling, uh, when once we are in Rimbambaling, we are out of metrics because there is no uh, internet connection. And then, we're, uh, is it? How, how? Can you explain more about it? Yeah, there is. Uh, we in fact the technology is called uh, a stick. Mm. So if you want internet, you have the stick. Like your phone will be there oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> to reach the, the signal, but have to go. I mean, uh, like walking like one hour. I mean, it's like it's quite so challenge. Yeah. Yeah, 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 challenge. So yeah. an adventure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but anyone bisa but SMS. Yeah. Yeah, and, yeah. and it's only enough for sending short messages. Uh, yeah, yeah. WhatsApp, no? No. Good. No. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom yeah. also, no? no. Oh, it's good. It's good. It's very good. <laughs> When I, uh, uh, during field work, I had this experience yeah. often that our Indonesian colleagues, the first thing they would do when reaching a, a, a research site in, in the forest, they would uh, look for a long stick and then take yeah. the uh, phone to it and then find a, a place where they could get the yeah. picture. <laughs> and it's usually only SMS. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but uh, we, we are so lucky that uh, we, still, we still have to, I mean, uh, if people going to, uh, this area, and then there is no, you know, like only these two months that uh, electricity just come come out uh, in Rimbang Baling area. Before it's like no electricity at all, and then no signal at all. So people that uh, come to Rimbang Baling have to, you know, like too tough, yeah, to like to, yeah, it's more more easy to engage in yeah. some some of uh, direction of. Yeah. Uh, because something. there are no distractions, yeah? yeah. No mobile phone, no yeah. electricity, no. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you said that it, it was just two months, the, electri the electricity mm -hmm. station was installed there. Yeah. But when? Uh, this year or a couple of years ago? No. Just, just yeah, yeah, just recently. Uh, just recently? The, the electricity yeah. come, yeah, from the government. Yeah. Mm. Maybe the Kampung itu dah ada sejak abad ke-16. Uh, the, the, the area in Bambaling was already there since the 16th century. Hmm. Yeah. Terus, itu uh, dari catatan perjalanan Thomas Dias, seorang POC, hmm. uh, seorang Portugis yang disewa yeah. POC yeah. untuk mencari rempah-rempah. Yeah. Based on the based on the uh, journal of uh, Thomas Dias, the Portuguese was hired by POC to Sumatra. to go to Sumatra uh, to yeah I, I remember one book was uh, uh, edited by Anthony Ray uh, a historian the yeah a historian on Indonesia especially Sumatra he compiled all these uh, all these uh, journal trips of these uh, in adventurers or also uh, people who were hired by the VOCs to 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 go to Sumatra uh, and this one is Thomas Diaz yeah, based Thomas on his yeah. notes Um, yeah, maybe something uh, to mention. So we have recently met and we have already been in exchange and it's been really, really fascinating so far, I think. And of course, this um, festival um, will take place in, in a village that is yet to be determined, but it's, uh, the village is, is, is still, uh, yeah, still, we're still in search for it or in, in conversations um, in a, in a, in a uh, process of choosing the, the village. And um, we have, uh, yeah, we have good uh, relationships with, with many uh, villages in, in the region, which is really a um, yeah, great luck. And this is thanks uh, to, uh, 
uh, mostly uh, uh, Ayen, who we saw earlier, and, and other Indonesian colleagues who have been really tireless um, in maintaining these, these very important good relationships. And um, at the same time, um, Ade and Perry, and I don't know if uh, other people from Sikukuluang, uh, went recently to our study region and also um, looked at some villages. Mm. Yeah, we, we already uh, go to this uh, uh, some area that uh, Gottingen, Gottingen University have the research uh, uh, in Jambi. One is uh, called Bungku, and then the second one is called uh, Pematang Kabau. And then it's uh, quite uh, challenging also for us because it's not the same, uh, like maybe the characteristic, it's. Uh, can be similar, but it's not uh, the same uh, area where we, we come from in uh, Rio province. But the, mm, if we call it problem, can be uh, similar. There is this uh, uh, like yeah, oil palm plantation, and then there is uh, this people, like indigenous people still over there. Yeah. And uh, there is uh, like huge deforestation also over there. Uh, but it's uh, yeah, it's that's why we we really interesting uh, about this project together with the with the scientists and then with the artists local, uh, but international also that can involve in this uh, uh, particular uh, ideas of uh, arts and uh, festival uh, next 2022. Yeah. Uh, maybe Harry wants to talk about the book that he, he yeah. Uh. <coughs> Ini buku hasil residensi, ada hmm. seorang residensi buku tentang sejarah kopi Rimbang Bali. Hmm. Uh, buku ini dibuat oleh uh, Pendi dan saya. Yeah. So di, tentang di, yeah, so this book is, uh, is actually still on process uh, as part of a residency program. Uh, and it was written by two person, Fendi Adiatmono and himself, uh, hmm. Harry. Uh, but it's still a dummy book. As he said, because they still need to do fundraising to publish a book. It's yeah. actually about the history of Rimbang Baling and the coffee plantation in there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it can be also linked into the, the I mean, what we, we are doing in uh, Rimbang Baling area, not only uh, making a festival, but also kind of like a creative research also, mm -hmm. and then that we can, uh, we try to like, Publish also yeah. some of the what what, what uh, we are doing over yeah. there also and yeah. uh, of course next uh, on the arts and festival in Jambi we have we yeah we try to uh, make uh, this is as as uh, what we imagine that uh, everybody can uh, knows the context and then everybody can uh, see what's uh, like the purpose what the the uh, final of this project together also with this yeah maybe publication and then uh, a lot of like uploaded in the uh, uh, all kind of medias so people will like knows uh, much better than uh, i mean like uh, for all, all of uh, the world maybe yeah. so I, th I think I, th I want to relate it with just maria told us before about mm -hmm. the knowledge is not something they fall in the sky but it needs to be researched and then produces a part of this knowledge production and this book is part of yeah. this effort yeah. 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 yeah and i think also that um so uh, still not clear exactly what but some kind of product maybe or, or or documentation of the process or something similar where you will know much better what exactly um but it's also the idea that this will be uh, um then shown in in forum with uh, this one, right so yeah yeah um kind of in a way, maybe we can now sow the seed and then harvest uh, later to stay with this um, nomenclature of, of documenta. Yeah. Um, there was, there's one other th thing I found really uh, interesting when we, when we discussed, and so you mentioned these, uh, there are these uh, tree plantings in the, in the forest uh, that you did, and then that's also something that is present in Jambi as this uh, jungle rubber uh, agroforestry. And it's also something that we are doing research on, uh, um, on as um, Mike and Holger uh, explained er earlier, with these uh, uh, tree plantings in the oil palm plantation. 
And then also you mentioned that uh, in Pamatankabau you saw that people are uh, experimenting with uh, lemongrass, yeah, lemongrass in, in oil palm plantations. So um, I think it will also be very interesting for us to see, uh, I mean, to bring in our experience as <coughs> researchers, our results, uh, but then also see what, what local uh, solutions are already present there. Yeah. Uh, because they yeah. will be, of course, yeah. adapted to, to the local conditions, already a lot of yeah. ideas. and. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but also maybe yeah. Uh, what 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 Sikuklong is organized in Rimambaling is also there's something happening uh, around ten years. Like uh, we have Indra Aming here, who's of who's been organizing uh, rag fest in the village. It's Wang Rupa Rikop Festival in uh, next to the national park in West Java. Andre was there. Now Aisha also was there uh, in a camping ground. Maybe Indra can tell us a little bit about this uh, rag fest in the village. Uh, yeah. There's a microphone. Yeah, Ariska. Yeah. yeah, this is this is something they happening throughout the archipelago Indonesia. The uh, people organizing cult art and cultural events in a in a next to the national park, next to the mountain, in, in the forest. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hello. Yeah. Uh, what and then talk about? It's a music festival that we Ruang Rupa organize it in. Uh, mountain it's in west java it's the area it's a camping ground it's next to the national park and uh, before we uh, have a, a music festival but basically because we live in in the city we basically uh, working in the city scape in the urban setting but then one day we got an offer <laughs> yeah. it's kind of an invitation to us or challenge us to have this kind of a music festival, a gathering in the in this camping ground in the uh, mountain of uh, Sukabumi, a city of uh, one small city in in West Java. And this uh, related also uh, to the rainforest that uh, located there. So we trying to uh, uh, always make a project base uh, start with some short residency with a community there to work with uh, friends also around uh, Sukabumi area and combine it with the music festival yeah. and uh, this already happened five times since 2014 but yeah unfortunately because of the pandemic we need to slow it down <laughs> but next year we plan to have one more yeah, right no two Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> thank <laughs> you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This, this is this is really interesting. That throughout the archipelago in Indonesia, there are some effort from people, young communities, to organize art and cultural event in a, in an area that close to the national parks. For your information, there are four, 54 national parks throughout the archipelago in Indonesia. Most of them uh, are uh, mountain-based or forest-based national parks, but around. Uh, small so small amounts from this from these 54 are maritime uh, based uh, national parks yeah. Andrea I'm flies yeah, yeah. time <laughs> swims <laughs> also time swims um, I wanted to ask you if you would like to open up a little bit to the audience now before we jump to the next presentation and uh, Again, a big thank you for being here and uh, giving us some insight in your work. And I'm very much looking forward to the collaboration yeah. that is coming up. Thanks to you, Fabian, yeah. as well. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Please stay. Please stay. Oh. Maybe we have some questions. Oh, any questions? <laughs> uh, if. if if okay. one, if uh, anybody want more coffee, talk to Ade and Harry. <laughs> yeah. They will make. But you need to. Bring <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah there is. <laughs> well, thank you very much from my side as well. Ade, I have just one side question, which is, it's just. Um, came to my mind when you said you have, you are, you are, both of you, you are now looking for a proper village for the next festival, for a village 
which were people are apparently already known to the Göttingen researchers. So it will probably be a village where you feel very familiar, Fabian, but where you, you haven't been working in this area until now. And I, I was just, when you explained this, I was just wondering, how do these village people react to you? Do they, because my idea was, is it possible that they feel more familiar with the Göttingen researchers than with you who come from another area? Could, is it like that? Or is it more that they, they think, well, they are artists f from Indonesia and therefore mm -hmm. there is already some kind of, um, well, I mean, do they, do they trust in you? Do they feel like, do, do you think they feel familiar with you as well? Or uh, is it difficult? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah, uh, we know that maybe uh, like people in here know also the like Indonesian style is called nongkrong. Nongkrong is uh, where you comes to to uh, uh, like unknown place or something, and then you you just like uh, uh, suddenly you know like uh, try to hang out together, and then there will be like the information of of any kind of uh, uh, you know like. Uh, uh, what we want to know will happen. I mean, like uh, in the coffee, coffee place is just like a place for like all of the information will be around. Because in in uh, in uh, like the village, all of the village, they have the place for nongkrong itself. They like to hang on itself. So we we are already uh, 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 one time uh, to this. Uh, particular area in Jambi, and then we try to look like uh, in next December, like the second time to know uh, like uh, where is the place that we will make the festival also, and then how how the like people uh, over there is uh, like uh, accept us to, to make this festival together. Uh, then of course we, before we went to the, the, the village, uh, from the team of Gottingen University already communicate with the Buayan also and then we go to the, the chief of the village first. And then after that we can, you know, like we can uh, uh, like try to, to know what is like in the, the village, what, what happened and then how many people or what kind of a situation and yeah, any kind of this. Harry so maybe wants to add also. Okay. Mm. Uh, cara masuk kami ke uh, di tempat itu seperti dengan seni, kemudian saya juga menjadi ada upacara adat masuk ke suku sana, di sana ada masyarakat adat, saya masuk ke suku sana dengan uh, memotong kambing, mm -hmm. uh, simbol darah itu sebagai bersaudara, yeah. itu tiga hari tiga malam, mm -hmm. agar kita uh, bisa diterima di masyarakat itu. Yeah. So actually, yeah, he just mentioned it. Even though they come from a different area in Sumatra, uh, but Sumatra is one island. They come from uh, Riau, which is mm. an, another province, and Jambi is a, Jambi, is yeah. a neighbor province Mambali. of them. Uh, and Mambaling is in Jambi. But uh, the, what did they do when they wanted to uh, get in there uh, uh, to, tune, to tune in or to, to blend with the people there is that they follow the protocol, which is there, there, there is a ritual that they, they, there is a ritual that they organize to. Uh, to to be accepted by the uh, indigenous people there who have their own uh, kind of rules. Uh, so they sacrificed uh, uh, a Land. goat, yeah. uh, a goat, and then they they prepare the di uh, dish from this goat, and then it served for three days, and then that's how they are connected. And then uh, and also, may, if I want to add that, uh, what Ade said that it's it's also a matter of language because uh, with uh, two hundred million population, more than 200 population of Indonesian uh, country, uh, most of us speak Bahasa Indonesia, and it's also, yeah, thanks to Ben Anderson who coined this term of imagined communities, that uh, with this language we can easily connect it with uh, whoever, even like when we go to Malaysia, who we also share the same, almost the same language, which is Malay. So the language and also food is also a way of how to connect and also Coffee, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. mostly uh, cigarette. Of cigarette, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to tobacco plantation. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> yeah. uh, the 
what Harry said it's uh, in Rimbang Baling area that he become one of the the tribe itself. So Harry now like officially one of the tribes of Rimbang Baling area mm -hmm. where we have in Rio mm -hmm. province. Yeah, but Harry mentioned that there are actually six tribes uh, in Rimbang Baling which are Ketopang, Malay, and Malay is divided into two, Mudik and Ula, and then Piliang, and then Domo. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Harry is uh, the first uh, uh, tribes that oh. come to Rimbang Baling. It's uh, Ketopang. Ketopang. Oh, yang dipanggil orang Ketopang. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Harry uh, has a Ketopang uh, background from this uh, community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, then I uh, say again a big yeah. thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, and we will now follow up with uh, Pina Ugrenzi, who is already waiting in line, so to say. She will contribute from yeah. remote. Uh, Pina Ugrenzi is an artist and filmmaker. She lives in Berlin. At this moment, she's working abroad. Uh, for her contribution to Documenta 15. Um, I'm happy that she can make it and uh, join us now. Um, and yeah, let's all give a warm welcome to Pina. I think we will see her, yeah. <laughs>